Senator Pocock, thanks so much for your time. Does this bill still have your support? Morning, it's great to be with you. As I've said all along, it, it is, there's a clear need to legislate a target. I don't think that this target is high enough, but having the certainty is important. So great to see that the government and the Greens have come to an agreement. This bill will then go to committee and then come before the Senate. And you know, I'll, I'll be looking at it, continuing to work with Minister Bowen on what, you know, what he's described as any sensible amendments from, from the crossbench. Is that a maybe? <laughs> <laughs> or is it a yes, but I, I'll just read it anyway? Um, I'm just wanting to know right now, if it was to go to the Senate floor today, would you give it the tick of approval? <laughs> well, I mean, I've said all along, I want to see this legislated, but I'm here to represent the people of the ACT and to ensure that I'm looking at legislation and suggesting ways that it can, can be improved, that it has more integrity. That, that's, that's my priority with this bill, is how do we give it integrity? How do we ensure that we're actually going to be meeting the, the 43 per cent? So you know, it, it'd be disingenuous of me to sort of rubber stamp something before it comes before the Senate. I'm not here to rubber stamp. The government uh, bills or, or the Greens, I'm here to represent the ACT and actually look at this and, and work with the government to say how can this be improved slightly to ensure that it sets us up on a really good, good path forward. Fair enough. Uh, I do understand that you would like to see a, a higher ambition than 43%. Apart from that, what other things would you like to see in the bill that would actually get your approval? As I said, we're continuing these discussions with Minister Bowen and his, his staff. Uh, one of the things is around reporting and transparency and potentially having an annual budget statement that, that looks at the climate impacts of, of the budget. You know, we, we've talked uh, about doing that uh, for, for women and how the budget is affecting women. I think given that we are now legislating a target for climate, it would be really helpful to actually be able to look through the budget and say, well, how is this affecting our emissions? Are we on track? Uh, which, which are the projects that are potentially uh, need to be reassessed? Is that why you're such a, a proponent of an environmental trigger which could see um, big projects that are potentially huge polluters be scrapped from being even made? Is that the key issue for you? <laughs> There's a lot of issues in this space. It's clear, if we listen to scientists, we, we cannot afford to open new coal and gas projects. And if you look at the State of the Environment report, over and over it talks about the impacts of climate change on these incredible environments, these ecosystems across the country and species. And so for me, it, it makes total sense that if you are actually assessing a, uh, an ecosystem or a species, you need to take climate into account. But you know, that's not part of this bill. That's for, a, that's for a further discussion down the road. As I said, it, I think it's really important that we do legislate a target my job representing the ACT is to work with, you know, work with the crossbench, work with the government to ensure that whatever we do legislate come September does have integrity. Senator, um, Adam Band says this is round one. Beyond this bill, there's still a lot of work to go. Can you name one thing that you'd like to work on beyond the bill in terms of the environment? One of the things is, is the emissions reduction fund Clearly, there, there are some issues with the way that we're actually creating carbon credits to allow uh, companies to, to offset. Those have to have integrity. If, if we're serious about taking climate action, I think integrity has to be the lens that we look at all of these, mm. these programs. So there's the Emissions Reduction Fund and then obviously the safeguard mechanism. The government has been talking about doing a, a review and, and, and rewriting that. So, Yes, we need a legislative target, give everyone certainty, and then move on to all these other things that will actually ensure that we're playing our part as a country in the Pacific, playing our part internationally, mm -hmm. and actually making the most of this incredible opportunity that climate action presents us with. Senator David Pocock, thank you very much for your time. Thanks for having me. Cheers.